My presentation this morning has been uh, the, 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 the triumph and prosperity of education in Africa, in which it was based on uh, research that we carried out for about a year and a half in 15 African countries that were chosen uh, uh, from the east, from the south, from the west, from the north, and Central Africa, which we think was representative of the continent of Africa in terms of the regions that we did cover. And when we were doing that, we looked at education from the beginning to the end. The beginning being the preschool or early childhood education or reception as uh, you refer to it here in South Africa, at primary, at secondary, at tertiary, and the university education. And what we have noticed is that at every one of those four or five stages, the number of children who have enrolled or students who have enrolled probably are more, almost a hundredfold compared to what was happening when I personally went to school in 1955, which is a long time ago. And what is of special significance and which would be applied to the young people that we are talking about would be the number of universities that have been opened in the last 30 years. That every one of those countries, whereas at the independence time, some of these countries, most of the African countries had no universities at all. Those which were lucky to have had a university or so before independence, they must have been less than 10 out of the 54 countries that we have today. And the increase of universities in all these African countries affects the young people that we are making reference to. That the opportunities now in every African country that were non-existent 30 or 40 or 50 years ago. When I went to school, the only opportunity that I could make use of after finishing the basic education, which was not even uh, all level or standard uh, say grade 10 or 12, it was grade 8. At that time, if you finish grade 8, you could go and teach, take a course as a teacher for two years and become a primary school teacher. You could take a course or even work in the government as a clerical, a clerical worker. Or you could go and do nursing. Those were the fields that were open to us. These are the things that are open to uh, African children, whether in South Africa or elsewhere in Africa, were non-existent. We never even thought about it. But if you think of it now, only the sky is the limit. And these, I think, are the opportunities that the present youth have at their disposal. And that all they need is to apply themselves. Because some people, you send them to school, they find reason to be absent, they find reason to be involved in all other things. But we say you have a future at your disposal. What kind of a future are you looking for? Short of education, you have no future. There are very few people who will not pursue education up to the end of secondary school level or whatever level that may still be able to make it. But the majority of us, the only salvation we have is education at whatever level we think we must achieve in order to get the next job. And therefore I say you have a better opportunity than we had. If you want to finish your high school, you will finish your high school because, for example, in South Africa, everybody can go to high school if he qualifies. That is not true in other African countries. Only so many can go because the high schools are not enough. If it is university, we can't say everybody can go. But the number that would be sufficient to go is so much that there is no reason why, if these young people don't apply themselves as they should, uh, should not be able to pursue a, a, a university education. 
and one need not even pursue universal education because we are talking of tertiary education. There are colleges, there are, there are schools which specialize in certain courses where you don't need universal education. You are all level or you are, uh, you are grade 10 or you are grade 12 as it is now, is sufficient for you to pursue that course maybe for a year or two or three and you have something at your disposal. So we say the decision, young people, is yours. Do you want to have a better future than that which your father or your grandfather had in this country? Then the solution is education. <music>